iPads, yeah. Allowed, allowed to, it wasn't for me, it's, it's departmentally. We're allowed to give them to them for academics and mm-hmm. things like that. So Ryan's already already has one, Millie already has one, but the other ones didn't have them yet. So we were able to pass those out today, so that's nice. So you guys are able to track what all goes on them? Like, um, with them? Yes, more or less. Okay. Yeah. I might have told them that we could track a little bit more than we can, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> they believe me. That's, that's what's important. All right, thank you. <laughs> uh, I mean, it, obviously everybody wants to talk about the turnover mm-hmm. on the roster. Is this How unique of a situation is this for you? Have, been in, have you been in a situation like this never, before? Never had this many new players. I've had, um, interestingly enough, at all three of the places that I've been a head coach after year one, I've had I've had big turnover because I had big senior classes. I had I think I had six at Illinois State my first year. Um, had three or four at, at Vanderbilt, but they were already kind of low in numbers, and so we had a lot of replacing to do. And um, um, and so n- never anything quite like this to where we have 11 new faces. And and um, uh, but it, it's really been. Um, beyond my wildest imagination, enjoyable and, and um, I don't know, they, they've come together at this point more than I would have ever thought that they could have. Now, don't get me wrong, we're not anywhere close to being a finished product, but they really show signs and desires of, of wanting to be a team, wanting to be coached, wanting to, to do what we've asked and 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 you can tell when when players when it doesn't bother them if they they don't do what they're supposed to do and you can tell when it does these these guys are greatly affected when they don't do what we're asking them to do um and that's a good sign because that just means it's a matter of time before they'll they'll get it right and and that's what we've gotten without exception uh, from them in our summer workouts our fall workouts so far and, and now in practice but um so I couldn't be any more pleased than I am with uh, with their attitudes and their efforts and their dependability and, and, and the things that they've shown us for. Do you find yourself doing more coaching slash teaching than maybe you might have ever done before? Well, I, I, you know, I, I think any time you have a new team, whether it be last year, this year, any time that you have a new team or, and a bunch of new guys, or maybe better said, not a lot of veterans returning, you have to do a lot of teaching, and, and certainly that that's the case with this group. Um, you know, Millie and Ryan and Zach are the only guys that are back, and they've done a great job, honestly, of of being coaches on the floor and being voices for the for the younger players. But um, still, there's an, an incredible amount of teaching that's that's taking place, and but it's fun. It's it, when when they're receptive and they want to do right, and and I mean, this was probably the least energetic practice that we've had um, and I, I have some suspicions as to as to why but um, our, our energy and our effort has been off the chart uh, today I thought it was uh, uh, just a little bit below where, where we need it but um, but otherwise th- these guys have been fantastic and so uh, but yeah there's a ton of teaching that's going on I mean you could stop just about every play every pass because you know, there's something you can tell somebody where they can learn. What for you, Ken, is you know, has been the most difficult aspect of not only having a bunch of new guys, but just the sheer number of them where you have 11 people who are used to necessarily the way that you run things or even used to be? Um, I haven't gotten into the most difficult part of it yet. I, I, there's nothing that I have found difficult with these guys because um, They've learned better than I expected them to learn in terms of retention and and being able to apply schemes and things like that. Um, they've played so hard and so physically and and with such a toughness that you know I, I have not only do I not have any complaints, I have nothing but praise for for that aspect of it. Um, and so the only thing that's that's difficult that I know that's coming is that they don't have experience and until they get experience I can't blame them for not having experience so um, that will come in due time but uh, I'm, I'm very very encouraged with with what I see I don't know 
where our talent level will will rank in in this unbelievably tough conference, but um, I've got a feeling that our effort level and our toughness level will will, will be pretty good, and and that at least gives me some uh, some confidence and some peace at night because. Whatever we're short on, I, I think we're going to be long on, on how hard we play and, and, and the kind of physicality that we play with. In You're getting this roster, you've, you've done it some different ways, like some late high school signees, JUCO, grad transfers. How many of these guys have you seen you know, in person play versus seeing film and then how they match up when you see them in person? Um, I would have to go through it and figure that out in my mind, but... Um, uh, but what you what your question is a good one because um, we've had to do some unconventional recruiting because of the sheer numbers of what we've been forced forced to do um, and I kind of consider myself an outside the box thinker when it comes to recruiting anyway I, I don't I, I've never really had a job to where I could be the best team in my league by strictly recruiting high school guys so that made me think outside the box foreign kids prep school kids transfers um, you know it's the first grad transfer I've ever had um, couldn't get anybody into graduate school in Vanderbilt but um, not that I didn't try a few times but, but anyway um, so we, we have a, an approach that encompasses literally anything that we, we think needs to be done junior colleges whatever the case might be and and that will be con how we'll continue to go now we would love to get it to where it was two or three high school players a year that we needed, but until we get it up and running, we, we have to be more, I don't want to say unconventional, but have to think more outside the box. Also, you don't want to have an 11 player class so that in four years you have another 11 player class, right? Um, I will retire before I have another 11 player <laughs> class because if I don't, I'll die. Um, this. This recruiting year was was the most difficult. It, it's it's literally it's over three years of recruiting in in about 15 months, and um, one of these days I'll look back and and really really wonder how we how we did it because um, it was incredibly difficult um, and. Uh, I mean I've just never heard of anybody having to sign 11 players before. Especially at this level, and and so um, it was it was quite hard. Uh, but we're we're thrilled with with the result. I, I'm thrilled with these guys that we have, and um, uh, but it's yeah we, we we would like to space it out in the classes to where uh, you don't have one class of five or six, and which we do have a fresh a big freshman class. But you know who knows by the time they're seniors, um, maybe we've redshirted a guy or two or or you know whatever so things happen a guy might get injured or something and and um, so uh, but we'll, we'll try to achieve some balance now as we go along and and see if we can't balance it out with someone it looks like you have some nice natural shooters in this got, group. Got, got a few guys that can shoot I, I like um, I like guys that can shoot and and uh, um, sometimes I tell my staff if they can't shoot don't recruit I'm, I'm, I'm I just I don't like the defense being able to hit the reset button when a ball hits a certain guy's hands. And, and so uh, I feel like we've been able to get some guys that can put the ball in the basket. Uh, some guys are, we got a couple guys that are prolific if, if they have space. And, and um, but, you know, that was the goal. The more guys that you have that can score it, the you know, more balance you can have and the more threatening you can be to the defenses. So uh, hopefully that, that scoring is, is spread around and, and uh, uh, I'm sure it will be. Who among the newcomers is, is standing out right now? Anybody? I would say that um, um, Marcus Carr is, is a guy that has stood out. Um, he has stood out, honestly, almost from the day he's gotten here. He's a natural born leader. Um, he's incredibly, uh, in, in incredibly good shape. His fitness and conditioning allows him to play at a, a really high level for a long, long period of time. Um, Parker Stewart has been very consistent. Um, he, he's you know, a guy that has shown some real proficiency to shooting and shooting the basketball. 
uh, but he's also a little better defensively and a little tougher physically than your your stereotypical catch and shoot guy. He, he gets involved in the game in other ways. Um, uh, Cam Davis has been a guy who defensively has has really stood out, um, maybe above anybody defensively. Um, Jared Wilson Frame has has been. Uh, is another guy that shoots the ball very well, and, and um, with him, I think there are some some habits that we're having to break, and he understands it, and he's trying to help us. He's trying to work with us to help break them, but um, uh, he's made some nice progress this fall, and and um, uh, you know maybe the guy that that's made the most progress of any of them, honestly, from the day they walked onto campus to today is Terrell Brown. Uh, Terrell came in, seemed pretty behind, and he, he's worked really hard to, to, to try to catch up. Um, they've all had their moments. Uh, they've all had some. Shamil's been really good at times. Ken has been really good. I mean, I, I would be, I, I'd kind of be mistaken if I really left anybody out because they've all had their moments. Um, but, you know, Marcus has stood out consistently. Um, Parker, uh, in, in large part because of his shooting, has stood out consistently. In this conference with so many uh, teams with good big men, and you have young big men on your ball club, Coach, are you going to have to maybe use big men by committee uh, this um, year? I'll just use the big men that we have. I don't know whether it will be a committee or not, but I'll, I'll use the guys that we have. Um, uh, we, um, we may play small at times. Um, we may, um, I mean, We'll, we'll try to figure out a way to really be difficult to play against. And, and then um, if we can combine being difficult to, to play against when we're on offense to being consistent and tough-minded on defense, then, then maybe we'll, we'll, we'll have a team and we'll have a chance to have some success. I, I'm not worried about, um, I mean, we'll, we'll play, we'll probably play four big guys or probably be four guys in our rotation. Um, Ryan Luther will be in it and those other guys can fight, fight it out for those other three spots. Ryan will be one of them. And, and, um, and whichever those other, I guess there's five more of them, whichever those three of those five show us that, that they're, they're the most ready and the most able to help, then those will be the guys that are in there too. With what you had said prior about the recruiting season and um, the turnover, can you at least take some comfort in the fact as a head coach yourself that you have had a major hand in getting this group, and you can have a, a big hand in what is produced this season. That you're not with someone else's group. Yeah, you know, I, I, I never, um, I didn't consider last year's group somebody else's group. That was that, that was my group. I mean, I coached them, and and did I have them their entire careers? No, I didn't have them their entire careers, but that was that was my group, and um, and just like this group is my group, and and. Um, I, I think way too much is made of well, you didn't recruit them. Well, I didn't recruit them, but I coached them. That was my that was my team, and I had something to do with with the successes, and I certainly had something to do with the failures. And and so um, that what happened with that team was that was that was my team. Okay, not with anybody else's team. It was my team. Um, and this will be the same way. This is this this group will um, will be a product of of what we can make it. And and um, uh, and so far they've proven to be a, a responsive, dependable, tough-minded, selfless group. And and if we remain that way, I think we'll get really close to reaching the potential that we have as a team. I was just curious. Um, <clears throat> the news that came out last week in college basketball. What was your reaction when you? heard uh you know i i don't think that um i don't think that i probably gain a lot by by opinionating on on, on things in college basketball um was i surprised nah i i i, I wish i would have been surprised but i wasn't and um uh is it sad yeah and and do I hope that that uh, people can step in and, and help get it cleaned up? Certainly. When you first took this, this job, giving you the job, you knew you were uh, the, the very least, that you were going to have to place four seniors, four guys who would start for you. Um, 
how did the youth recruiting class, even numbers aside, just in terms of, of uh, position and composition and talent, how did the class you ended up with compared to what you maybe sort of the envisioned when you first got here and even compared to what you thought you might get at the end of last season? Um, I think that we um, were very fortunate in some ways to to get to, to get the class completed in, in the way that we did. I mean, we, we were able to sign some guys um, that were, in some cases, very under recruited, um, and, and and you know it, it was a tall task because it just kept felt like we had to keep recruiting. Keep you know, even when we would sign one, it felt like we needed two more. And 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 but. I think that we were able to address needs. I think we've got a good balance of perimeter guys and big guys. Um, I think we've got a good balance of uh, physical and skilled. I, I think we have, um, you know, point guard play, wing play, post play. Um, you know, I'm grateful that we've got Ryan. Really grateful because uh, he's led everything that we've done and, and done a terrific job. And, and so um, I, I just. Um, I, I think we we probably, if, if you would have told me what the task was, you know, a year ago at this time, and told me what I was really going to have to do, I wouldn't have had any hopes that would have ended up as good as it did. And and um, you know, my staff did a great job, did a great job through the summer, and and you know, we got Cam Davis late. Cam Davis is going to be a very good player. Uh, we got Kenna late. We have nobody that plays any harder than he does. Um, I mean, we we got some guys late that are going to be productive players for us.